Gary Gensler and others like him are starting what's called the crypto carpet bombing. Let's take a look at what Politico has to say about the opportunity for the EU as the U.S. is facing even more regulation by enforcement. And in that same regard, the SEC has recently stated just how proud they are of what they're doing with enforcement. We'll look at their recent quote and Ripple Stu Alderati's reaction to what's been happening with Gary Gensler. But if we haven't met before, my name's Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed of all the latest news and updates. All right, if you remember from last week, we saw that Gary Gensler proclaimed every cryptocurrency except Bitcoin is an unregistered security. In that recent article, Stu Alderati says he should recuse himself from voting on any enforcement case that raises that issue since he has prejudged the outcome already. Remember that he's one of five commissioners despite being the chair of of the SEC, and as such, he's one of five votes when it comes to these actions. And because of this bias, maybe he shouldn't be having a vote there. Now, from Eleanor Terra in response here, the SEC's statement on its enforcement, they say we're in active litigation in cases raising the application of our securities laws to crypto assets. Our enforcement division has been quite successful so far, and we look forward to additional court decisions on these issues. We've got several cases still ongoing in the crypto space, most notably the SEC versus Ripple that we have talked about at length here on the channel. You can see some of the reactions here. John Deaton says he's been talking to a couple crypto companies in active litigation with the SEC. SEC staff lawyers do not want to litigate all these cases. Many disagree with Gensler's approach and resources are limited and extended. Uh, Charles Gasparino and Eleanor Terrett have been reporting on this and he agrees here that they're accurate in this reporting. Now let's take a look here from Politico. This came out over the weekend. We haven't had a chance to address it yet, but I did think it was worthwhile because crypto firms in the U.S. are definitely bracing for this carpet bombing moment here in the U.S. Meanwhile, Europe beckons as a potential home for crypto. Crypto lobbyists have a new uh, cudgel in their intensifying battle with U.S. regulators. They write, Europe wants their business. Industry leaders are increasingly making the transatlantic ju juxtaposition to argue for clearer regulations as U.S. agencies begin to enforce decades-old rules for trading and banking in the crypto world. Congress is nowhere near the point where it might craft a federal standard for digital currency, so regulators appointed by President Biden are stepping in to fill the void. That's in contrast with the European Union, which is preparing to activate new laws tailor-made for digital asset companies. Many European officials are beginning to pitch the EU as a welcoming place for crypto businesses to set up shop. If you recall, we've seen Brad Garlinghouse of Ripple talk about what they are doing in Europe. We see that Ripple as a company is participating with the Digital Pound and Digital Euro Foundations to have their voice heard when it comes to creating more digital asset opportunities opportunities in those countries and as they look toward having potential uh, stable coins or uh, government backed stable coins in those different uh, or CBDCs rather you know uh, central bank digital currencies in those jurisdictions they're trying to make their voices even more heard and be more vocal when it comes to this conversation. Now, in contrast with the EU, uh, the U.S. has been stifling innovation, but there they're preparing to activate these laws that will help make things easier. We will have the best framework in the world in which countries can develop, said Stefan Berger, the conservative German lawmaker who shepherded the EU crypto rulebook that will come into force in the second half of next year. We will have everything that you need for a workable market. It's an argument no U.S. policymaker is in a position to make. With American politicians at odds over whether to embrace or discourage the growth of crypto, 
crypto and regulators taking matters into their own hands, the collapse of digital asset exchanges like FTX only complicated matters. This revealed widespread industry mismanagement and took down the former CEO of FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried, who was once a major player in D.C., Lobbyists and sympathetic lawmakers stateside are trying to keep pressure on Congress by warning that the U.S. is falling behind the rest of the world without a clearer set of rules. What's at stake here is America's reputation as a promoter of innovation and a global hub for finance. While the crypto world has lost some political clout in recent months, the advancement of the EU's providing fresh motivation for industry allies in Congress to press ahead with their agenda. The EU's ahead of us, Switzerland's ahead of us, Australia's ahead of us, said Senator Cynthia Lummis of Wyoming, a Republican Bitcoin advocate who's drafted a comprehensive bill in regard to crypto regulation. England's ahead of us, she continued. So it's not just second and third world countries. The contrast with the EU's clear because the U.S. regulation of the industry rests on a melange of state-level rules and licensing that operates alongside federal financial safeguards designed for old-school banks, traditional stock trading, and commodity exchanges. Despite the inconsistencies, crypto has flourished for years in the U.S. system thanks to friendly state-level approaches and less intervention from Washington. But the sector is beginning to face a sweeping crackdown by federal agencies that have lost patience with what they're seeing as flagrant flaunting of traditional financial regulations on investments and lending. We're feeling a crypto car uh, carpet bombing moment where they seem to be trying to throw whatever they can within their authority or potentially exceeding their authority, as may be the case with Gary Gensler. And we think that's short-sighted, said Kristen Smith, CEO of the Blockchain Association. We think it's bad for U.S. competitiveness. The EU's openness toward crypto is a striking turnaround. The Europeans crafted their new rules after essentially freezing out the industry when Facebook, now known as Meta, announced its Libra digital currency back in 2019. European officials prompted by fears of big tech minting private money effectively stopped the project from launching. That episode prompted lawmakers to draft industry-specific regulations before similar products could take hold of the, on the continent. The markets and crypto assets law that EU policymakers came up with sets strict rules for stablecoins, a type of digital asset like the now-defunct Libra that's anchored to a national currency or other established financial product. It also creates safeguards, capital requirements, and governance rules for the broader crypto market. Aides to U.S. lawmakers were in Brussels in recent days to talk with EU officials about the new law. Europe is clearly outpacing the U.S. by establishing holistic regulatory frameworks for the crypto asset industry, said Susan Friedman, head of policy at Ripple, and they're continuing, as we're well aware, their legal challenge against SEC enforcement. She says, though, we fully expect Europe to become a national hub for responsible participants going forward. To be sure, some European officials are concerned the new law isn't sufficient to head off another debacle at a global company like FTX. They want to layer on additional safeguards. MICA is a positive step in the right direction, but it's certainly not perfect or complete. More work needs to be done to respond to the regulatory and supervisory challenges we're seeing today, said a Spain leader. Marquez, senior policy analyst at Americans for Financial Repor uh, Reform, said parts of the EU regime may be more permissive in the eyes of the crypto industry compared to the straightforward effort underway in the U.S. to apply, simply apply rules that already exist. The tension between the European Commission, the Council, and the Parliament means the EU rules are especially complicated, and that's an environment in which industry lobbyists thrives, he wrote. In the U.S., the pressure from the crypto industry is falling flat with its skeptics in Congress. We are unfazed by the prospect of Europe taking market share, and some top crypto players say the EU still isn't a welcoming place to operate. Crypto, it's not like it provides that many jobs, said Sherrod Brown, 
chair of the Senate Banking Committee, who's been a very vocal critic of digital assets and also a very big supporter of Senator Warren in her anti-crypto stances. He said, companies always threaten to offshore when they're gaming the system. Dante Desparte, chief strategy officer and head of global policy at Circle, said he would take the U.S. regulatory ambiguity over the near five years of hurry up and wait the Europeans have embarked on while drafting and implementing their new law. He speaks from experience. He was one of the leaders at Facebook at the time when EU officials stopped Libra from getting off the ground. You might not like that America is stuck in a fintech constitutional crisis that protects and preserves the states as the laboratories of fintech innovation in the country, he said. But that's a powerful feature and not a bug. So there you have it. At least one person's take on what's going on. We have a lot happening in the crypto space on the regulatory standpoint. We've seen a lot of regulation by enforcement from these different governing bodies like the SEC, ones that are trying to seek to establish rules uh, versus waiting for the government to actually provide them through Congress. So what do we have to do? Well, make your voice heard. Make sure you reach out to the people who have a hand in this policy making and those who are going to hold regulators accountable like Gary Gensler for the actions that they're taking in this regulation by enforcement as regulators should not be the ones making the rules. They should simply be the ones enforcing them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Is the crypto industry being carpet bombed in the U.S.? I wonder if you agree with that sentiment. Drop a like if you found any value here. Hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel a ton and helps me keep you informed. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me. I do truly appreciate it. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.